of the urology system may be plain X-ray, just plain X-ray without the contrast, or it may be with contrast. F5 F5. Diseases of the urology system are classified into groups, stones, tumors, and this is the most important section in X-rays. Stones and tumors. It will also show if there is back pressure, but you have to use the dye to see this. You can see hydronephrosis, hydroureter, okay? You can see filling defects in the kidney or in the urinary bladder, okay? Now we are starting the X-rays. This is an example of the so-called pyelogram. This is an X-ray with a contrast. Shows bilateral pelvic LCL system, right side and left side. It shows also the normal ureter. So you can see here the renal pelvis of either right and left side, so we turn it pyelogram. This is the so-called intravenous pyelography. Intravenous pyelography. Usually follows the plain X-ray. You will do first plain X-ray, then you will give the patient the dye, and you will wait until this appears the pelvic and the system, and the ureters on either side. If you wait more, this dye will end into the urinary bladder. So you will, uh, the X-ray will be short, will, will, will be termed cystogram. And if the patient voids this dye, this is, will be urethrogram, okay? This is an X-ray with the contrast showing the pelvic and the CL system, the two ureters. So you will see the ureters, it is urethrogram. Cystogram, this means the dye fill the urinary bladder. This is a plain X-ray showing multiple stones in the pelvis. From the side, the big X-ray is the basiacal one. As you can see, it is a rounded stone. It fills the urinary bladder. When the stone is in the ureter, it will take the shape of the ureter. So it's termed date shape. No, it is back. It is date shape. Another rounded stones you may see at the renal curves and the kidney. Okay? But this is a big vasiacal stone. Another plain X-ray showing stone at the left side. It may be the left renal pelvis, but it may be also the pelvic junction or the left ureter. If this stone is on the right side, you have to do a lateral X-ray. If it is in front of the vertebral column, it will be gold bladder stone. If it overlies the vertebrae, it will be renal stone. Another X-ray showing multiple stones. You see? X-ray is showing multiple stones. This is urethrogram. This is urethrogram. You will wait until the uh, 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 dye reaches the ureter. It seems that there is dilatation of the ureter. The dilated, the dilated ureter is termed hydro-ureter. 
this is this dilatation is present distal to obstructing mass. You will see this the ureter is hugely dilated. A very big stone fill the renal pelvic and CL system of the right side. This is termed staghorn stone. Another staghorn stone. You will see here the pelvic and CL system of the left side appears. The right side shows only the stone. So this is staghorn stone in the right side, and the right kidney is non-function. No dye appears in the right kidney. So it is non-function in the right kidney and in the same time the stone fills the pelvic and the CL system. Stern staghorn stone. In the plain uh, X-ray and in the eye view intravenous urography. Uh, <coughs> normal left kidney but non-functioning right kidney. Stag Warden Stone had been called the Hanif Gai in the next exam. Mashi? Treatment of the urinary stones may be conservative treatment, interventional, or interventional treatment that the Talatur is well. Extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, percutaneous nephrolithotomy, and retrograde endoscopic retrieval, open surgery. As you see, 50 years ago, open surgery will be number one. Now it is number four. four. Why? Due to the development in the uh, 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 laparoscopy instruments okay so intervention now is mainly by uh, laparoscopic measures the conservative treatment low indications which I is told to have conservative treatment there are certain indications for conservative treatment of the urinary stones Number one, it should be small stone, and 0.5 centimeter, no distal obstruction, no back pressure, no infection. The interventional treatment can be for kidney stones, ureteric stones, bladder stones, and urethral stones. As well or extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, there should be radio opaque stone and it should less than two centimeters. In uh, complications, minor renal injury, bleeding may be radiation. You have to know that the as well will uh, uh, break the stone into a very small fragments. So during uh, uh, treatment, the patient may have severe renal colic. Why you transfer a big stone to small stone. fragments so it may cause renal colic? That is what he has in his work. A percutaneous. Nephrolithotomy, then I failed as well. Low large stone, more than two centimeter. Low very hard stone, they sustain the impression that the sarah will as well. Or if there is an obstruction. Of an percutaneous, you will uh, enter the body through an opening in the renal angle. Then you will uh, introduce your laparoscopy and you will try the stone from the renal curves or the calcium system. Complications may be bleeding or anomalous kidney or radiation. 
small opening in the skin, then you will enter by laparoscope inside the re-epilogic anesthetic system, and then with the air instrument or with the forceps, you will grip the stone and you will drill it out. If failed other modalities, so we have only one option, open surgery. يبقى الجروب اللي شفناه من الاشعاعات ده يهمنا منه دي ستاك وول ستون اللي عديه طبعا يبقى معناه انه ايه؟ It's very important, this X-ray, playing you deal with IVP or intravenous pyrography, that will show a filling defect in the urinary blood. The most common filling defect in the urinary blood is the basal most filling defect. This is due to enlarged prostate. You know? Benign prostatic hyperplasia is a common disease in males above 60 or 50 years of old, maybe 60. This is a plain, uh, this is I view, intravenous urography, showing pelvic aliceal system, ureters. Now the dye reaches the urinary bladder, and there is a basal smooth elevation or a filling defect in the urinary bladder. What's the complaint of this patient usually? Uh, Benign frequency, prostatic hyperplasia. Night or the diurnal or day? Night frequency. Another complaint? Uh, difficult filming duration. Difficulty to start, difficulty to maintain, difficulty to end the operation. Double uh, stream. Okay. Uh, uh, the uh, 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 frequency, uh, difficulty, hesitancy, and maybe acute retention of your head. Sometimes also chronic retention. This is large basal defect. This X-ray is very important. This X-ray is very important. You can see also there is left hydro ureter, maybe from the back pressure and the obstruction. This is intravenous pyrography showing the pelvic aliceal system on either side. You can see the right kidney is okay and functioning well. The left kidney, there is a delayed excretion of the dye due to hydro ureter. Okay? And again, there is a basal, large basal most filling defect, most probably due to benign prostatic hyperplasia. This is a plain X-ray showing bladder wall calcification, but it is incomplete, most probably bladder carcinoma. You can see here, this is intravenous pyrography. The left side is normal. The right side shows severe hydronephrosis. What are the causes of hydronephrosis? The alpha. Yes, hydronephrosis. Maybe structure. 
It may be stone, it may be tumor, okay? It may be benign prostatic hyperplasia, but usually benign prostatic hyperplasia goes by lateral hydroid process. Unilateral hydronephrosis is due to the uh, uh, stone uh, cause in the right side. Maybe stone, maybe stricture. And what is the common cause of stricture? Bilharzia and tubercles. Another periuretic obstruction causing severe hydronephrosis. You can see here, the right kidney is completely normal, while the left side showing hydronephrosis. طبعا دي كانت كيدني فيها هيدرونيفروزس وتحط فيها انبوبه تمام فعملنا ايه؟ نفروستومي فاكرين الكولوستومي والاسوفاجوستومي والجاستروستومي والاليوستومي ها؟ ذير از اولسو نفروستومي انك توصل الكيدني على السكيل بار اللفت سايد زي الفل The right side, we have hydronephrosis and hydroureter. See, hydronephrosis and hydroureter. Because the left ureter was in the part of the urinary bladder down, the hydroureter we cut off most probably the then the structure or stool. But the left is all clean. The left is all clean. The left, the left side. Ah, left is clean. It's fine. وصل حد اليونيك دي بايلاترال ابر يوريتريك اوبستراكشن عامله بايلاترال هايدرو يوريتر اوكي ليفت ذس از ليفت هايدرو يوريتر خلاص الرايت كيدني ادت المهمه واشتغلت وفضت لكن الليفت كيدني فيها ديلي فانكشن وفيها ليفت هايدرو يوريتر واضح ان ذير از اوبستراكشن ممكن يبقى نتيجه ستور لما تبص هنا هتلاقي الرينا فيربس متاكل متاكل وبقى فيه الريجولار فيلنج ديفكت ده ديو تو ترانزيشنال سيل كارسينوما واخده الرايت رينال فيربس طبعا ذا كومنست تيومر اوف ذا كيدني اباف ايج اوف 40 از هايبر نفروما تمام ذا كومنست تيومر اوف ذا كيدني طبعا ان يونج ايج ويلز تيومر Another tumor is the transitional cell carcinoma. With transitional cell carcinoma, I shall make it a urinary bladder. But it may occur at the renal pelvis. As you can see, there is a regular filling defect. Another transitional cell carcinoma in the right renal pelvis. You can see another place the transitional cell carcinoma in the ureter. As you can see, there is a stricture here in the right ureter, and this is stricture causing back pressure that leads to right hydronephrosis, and there is right hydro ureter. Renal cell carcinoma amputated calyx. As you can see, there is upper, middle, and lower calyx. The lower calyx is completely amputated by the renal cell. Carcinoma. What is the common presentation of uh, hypernephroma? Hematuria. Huh? Hematuria. Hematuria. First of all, it may be silent. Then, hematuria. The hematuria should be recurrent. Total hematuria. Yani total hematuria from the start till the end. When it turns the hematuria, hematuria that occurs at the end of bacteria. Initial hematuria that occurs at the beginning of maturity. This is an example. The cause 
that leads to terminal hematuria. Why? Because it is in the urinary bladder. So it will, uh, hematuria will occur at the end during a contraction of the urinary bladder. This is a filling defect, a regular filling defect in the urinary bladder occupying the left superior lateral wall. Huh? This is a bladder carcinoma. Bladder carcinoma may be transitional cell carcinoma or metaplasia that leads on top of binarziasis that will lead to squamous cell carcinoma. Tabak, the monster, the bladder carcinoma, the bladder carcinoma is very important in the next exam. Another uh, important thing, this amputated calyx. Renal cell carcinoma or hypernephroma. Carcinoma, for the lateral wall, from a sarala, a left ureter. There is left hydro sorry, left hydro ureter. Why? Because the site of bladder cancer, the filling defect in the lateral, left lateral wall. So, obstructing the left ureter. The example, the one of the congenital anomalies that occur in the kidney, the double pelvis and double ureter. Double pelvis and double ureter. I don't want to get that. The eyes have two halibin and two pelvis. كلنا عارفين ان اكتوبيا بزايكا هو لا ها تعال يا باشا اتفضل يا باشا اتفضل هجيب لحضرتك شوية اكسرية تشرح لهم عليها تعال يا بيه اتفضل